What's up, guys? This is Casket1369 bringing you a fat pack opening of Abyssin Restored. We also have a box open today, so I guess let's get cracking real quick. If I can get into this thing, I did not pre prepare. Uh, is there a pen over there? Hand me that pen. Sorry, guys. I have no fingernails whatsoever. So, so materially, we will open this box. I love the art on the front. Makes Abyssin looks pretty cool. Let's see. Oh, good play that, dude. Where your uh, thing is. Yeah. There's a drink on there. Yep. Thank you. Alright. There we go. I'm just going to go over the fat pack stuff real quick. Everybody knows what comes in a fat pack now from the other 50,000 fat pack video openings that we've seen. Got the player's guide. Got the sleeve. Extra boxing. The box itself, which is pretty awesome looking. You got your two boxes, which are Grizzle Brand and Abyssin. And then we have our nine packs and our lands. We also have our spin down die, which is in there. Alright. So. Alright. Alright, so, now I'm packed with Addison Restore. Let's go ahead and stack them all up here. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and crack into them. I'm not even going to read it. I'm probably just going to go straight to the rare guys. Try to make these videos a little longer. Let's flip through them real quick. I might do them in comments. Alright, Blood Artist. Barter and Blood, Sturton Mentor, and the rare, oh, first rare mythic, Avacyn, the Angel of Hope. Sweet! Nice pack. Definitely not complaining. So, first pack, mythic. <clears throat> I can definitely do that. I really like Avacyn, though. I'm like everybody else, though, I'm sure I'm looking for all the expensive stuff. Which Avacyn's not too too bad price. Breaks my fat pack streak. I finally pulled a mythic to get out of a fat pack. Alright. <clears throat> get this real quick. Vessel of Endless Rest. Rush of Blood. Builder's Blessing. And Killing Wave. Wow, that's two good ones in a row. Killing Wave. I really like Killing Wave as a black card. And it looks like we have a foil. Wow, a foil killing wave and a regular killing wave in the same pack. That's freaking awesome, actually. <clears throat> That's a good pack. Did you want to keep these separate, silver and silver? Yeah. <clears throat> and as always, I've got my trusty assistant, Brian. <laughs> Hello! How are you? <laughs> so, just a side note, uh... We are completely worn out because we saw the Avengers last night. So, if you guys saw the Avengers, give us a shout out on my comments too, because it's always cool to see all the nerds out there going to see the midnight showings. Um, maybe it was amazing. So, anyways, back to the cards. What you came here to see? Not me talk about the Avengers. We have Corpse Traders, the Phileas Smuggler, Archangel. An Angel of Jubilation. Wow, that's really actually three good packs. Like, for the rare, that's, yeah. <clears throat> I'm happy with that so far. 
<clears throat> fourth pack. So, looks like my bad fat pack, like, like I said, has been broken finally. And I had, I think, after I got the five mythic box and, or fat pack in Innistrad, I had, I don't know, five or six fat packs go without a mythic at all. So, it, it was a pretty bad patch, but I'm glad I got out of it. To the uncommons. Marrow Bats. Latch Seeker, Commander's Authority, and Riders of Gavany is the rare. So, nothing too special about the Riders, but, you know, still could be worse. And just for a second, the art in this set, I've said it a million times, I'm sure everybody has too, but that, like, just even looking at that through the camera almost makes your eyes hurt. The, the, the way they did the sun in this, I mean, it's just, yeah. Not the greatest card, but it's amazing art. It's still hard for me to get over how good the art's been in these sets. Like, in a block so far, I mean, it hasn't been, you know, amazing. I mean, I thought some of the cards were really good in it. You know, it's all about opinion, but, um, hasn't been, compared to some of their sets, hasn't been that great. But, uh, the art has definitely been top notch in these sets. Right. Gold Knight Commander. Gang of Devils. Ooh, nature or blessings of nature, miracle card. And the rare, dual casting. Token in the land. So far I'm definitely liking these cards though. I really think I have a sense of <clears throat> fun set. I'm hoping, you know, especially after rotation, that it'll slow down the format a little bit. I mean, I'll, I'll, some of the decks I really like playing a faster deck sometimes, but, you know, sometimes it's a little too overpowered because how quick they are. Lightning Prowess, Angel's Tomb, Barter and Blood. Really? Another Abyssin? <laughs> In the same pack? Holy crap! I would definitely you guys are seeing this here. Two Abyssins in one box. Like, talk about the ratio being screwed up. But I am not complaining. Bastard. That's a fifteen dollar card. So that right there is, you know, with the foil killing wave, I think I pretty much pulled my box back out. So with three more packs to go. So wow. I'm pretty psyched so far. Let's hope my box is as good as <laughs> the fat pack is. Yeah. Alright. Angelic Armaments. Thunderous Wrath. Triumph of Ferocity, and the rare, another Mythic, Descent into Madness. Wow. And Descent into Madness at the beginning of your upkeep, put a Despair counter on Descent into Madness, then each player exiles X permanents he or she controls, and there are cards from his or her hand, where X is the number of Despair counters on Descent into Madness. So, it's, I mean, I've heard mixed reviews about this. <clears throat> I think the casting cost could be a little high for it. But, um, I don't know, that's pretty awesome. Is that where you put the X amount on it? Mm-hmm. Every time and then lose? Yeah, and then when you try to crack it. Yeah. Typical build-up cards like the X amounts. Alright, next pack. <clears throat> and yes, me and Brian get off and talk about random things. Get off topic, especially as then. Talk about random things. Alright, here we go. Another Thunderous Wrath. Triumph of Cruelty, Latch Seeker, and Other World Atlas. Not sure about that card. Haven't really read a lot of the artifacts. It seems already, it seems a bit high cost for an artifact that could be good for rare. But we'll see. Ooh, Reggie Boltrash. <laughs> and the last pack of our fat pack, guys. This has been 10 minutes too long, I'm sure, for you guys to sit here and listen to the crazy stuff. But, uh, yeah, let's get to this last one. And then we'll take a break and get a box cracking for you guys. Alright. Wolf for Avenger. Avenger. Sorry, couldn't help it. Valor Passage. Tandem Lookout. And a Silver Blade Paladin, which, for buying the box, today I got the Buy a Box promo of the Silver Blade Paladin, which... 
as most Promos do, I think it looks pretty awesome. Both the art's pretty good. I think we got a foil in here too. Let's see. Sweet. Yep, and the foil is a Nightshade Peddler, which is a common, so nothing special. But I always like to foil out these sets. So. But all right, guys. Well, um, let's recap the rares real quick. Try to keep this under 11 minutes. Let me get through. Okay. All right. Really quick. Silverblade Paladin. Otherworld Atlas. Dual Casting. Riders of Galvany. Angel of Jubilation. A Foil Killing Wave. A Regular Killing Wave. Descent into Madness. And two Abyssin Angel of Hope. So, yeah, definitely an awesome fat pack. And, um, as always, guys, as long as I can keep afford to bring it to you, I'll keep doing it. So I'll see you guys for the box opening. Peace.